Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to pass or read variables from one user form to another user form. So let's start the tutorial. So now let's check the final output. And here we've got the final output. Let me select the values, sports, click. And also we have added one input text box, input box. My name is Charan. My name is Charan. And I click OK. Notice in the user form 2 we got in the user form 2 we got my name is Charan. The date also we have given in the user form 1 to display in user form 2. And the combo box selected value is displaying in the user form 2. Now let's check again one more time. Now this time I'm selecting a veggie. Click. We got a pop-up menu. Input box. Let's add Peter. Click OK. So here we got the Peter. The name is displaying in the label. And the second label we have set the date, uh, date and time. Um, to display in the user form and also we have selected veggie in user form we are passing the veggie values in the user form 2 in the text box control if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial i am creating a new blank workbook and here we got one book one excel sheet now in order to create a user form on the menu bar there is a developer option here if you don't know how to add the developer option go to file options under options customize ribbon under customize ribbon notice the third one from the bottom is a developer option select the checkbox and click ok you will get the developer option now click the developer option and the developer ribbon notice a code contains a visual basic click that one and here we got the microsoft visual basic for applications now, in order to create a user form, we need to go to insert, click user form. Now, here we got one user form. Let me put this a toolbox aside. Now, we require another user form also. Insert again, click user form. Now, we got two user forms, user form 1 and user form 2. Now, my aim is whatever the user form, the details, I want to send the uh, variables to user form 2 from user form 1 to user form 2 i want to send the data so let me expand this user form 1 as well as user form 2 also now select the user form 1 now in the user form 1 i'm adding some controls let me add a text box control and one button control also here and I'm changing the button control label to the caption to click. Let me add is uh, the font size also. Increase the font size. Coding to click OK. Auto says two. Now one more control I want to add which is a combo box. You can add any controls. For this example I have taken one text box, combo box and button control. Now switch over to user form 2 when we pass the variables that data from user form 1 to user form 2 we require the controls to read the data so here i'm adding label 1 and i'm adding the text box also even if you want you can add the list box also but uh, one more label control i'm adding Three label control, two label controls, and one text box control. Now switch over to the user form one. The code is first. Let me select the user form one view code. User form when initialize. I want to oh, combo box one dot add item mm, fruits fruits. I am adding some items to the combo box 
uh, sports and this one is uh, sports fruits and vegetables veg veggie that's a veggie now let's check the output of the user form one so here we got the combo box items are added successfully now close the user form one double click the button click event we don't require this user form click event we require the command button one now dim k as string now k is equals to input box the prompt i'm adding enter the name let's add the enter the name i want to read this name in the user form label one in the user form two in label one so again user form one in the button click event label I'm sorry user form two dot we have two labels now see how we got the properties of this label label names here label one dot caption is equals to whatever they enter in the input values input box which is k i want to print in the label one and also in the user forum two dot um, Reform one dot. I'm adding text box one dot value is equals to on the text box. I want to read the combo box one dot value, and we have label two also. For that, I'm using user form two dot label two dot caption is equals to. I'm adding some date here. No. Now the final step user form two dot show method. That's it. Show. That's it. Uh, now let's check the final output. Uh, everything is correct in the user form two. We have two labels and one text box. In the user form one, we have combo box button control. Uh, we don't require the text box here unnecessarily i have added instead of that i have i'm using um, input box so now let's check the final output and here we got the final output let me select the values sports click and also we have added one input text box input box my name is charan my name is Chen and I click OK. Notice in the user form 2 we got in the user form 2 we got my name is Charan. The date also we have given in the user form 1 to display in user form 2. And the combo box selected value is displaying in the user form 2. Now let's check again one more time. Now this time I'm selecting a veggie click we got a pop-up menu input box let's add peter click ok so here we got the peter the name is displaying in the label and the second label we have set the date and uh, date and time um, to display in the user form and also we have selected veggie in user form we are passing the veggie values in the user form too in the text box control that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to pass variables from one user form to another user form thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial